Hi, I'm Rod Lloyd, Columbia River Handbells. Had a lot of people contact me that they were having difficulty understanding how to do the three bell weave. So I've been given a lot of thoughts, some different ways I can explain how to do this. Actually, recently I was playing in my handbell choir in the, the, big, the big bells, the lower threes, and I realized that the, the larger bells seem to force me to do the weaving action without even thinking about it. For example, now I realize that learning on the threes would be very difficult and some people can't even handle the threes, so that wouldn't be a good way to teach uh, weaving. So I came up with a, a different idea, um, hopefully it'll be helpful to you and I created my own threes. I cut out three out of hardboard, three pieces of uh, hardboard in the shape of my large bells. And they work remarkably well. It forces me to do this big action or I clang my bells. And practicing with these, if I do accidentally clang, it isn't a problem. And the trick is this one has to go in this direction, this one has to go in this direction, this one goes in this direction, this one goes in this direction, this one goes in this direction. And of course it's exaggerated with the big bells, but once you've got the technique with the big bells, then you'll be able to transfer it to your smaller bells. Now I realize not everyone can make their own plywood, uh, hardboard bell. So I went to the dollar store, see what I could find. These were uh, frying pan spatagart, I think they're called. I put some numbers on them so I wouldn't uh, get mixed up and they work just the same. Forced me to do this nice big action. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I looked around, I came across uh, something else that would uh, work just as well. You might even have some of these uh, around your house. These are uh, dust pens, and for a dollar each, you've got yourself three practice bells. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And I tried these out on a recent beginner class and it worked extremely well. I created some uh, um, practice uh, uh, patterns for them to, uh, to work on, uh, starting out simple and they get a little harder and harder until we're doing the full three bell weave. Because the problem with music is it just comes up once in a while and by the time you figure you've got a three bell weave it's come and gone and maybe you get it right and maybe you don't. And, so there are some uh, suggestions for you to, to practice your three bell weave. Uh, more information on my uh, uh, webpage, Columbia River Handbells. And if you don't have your copy yet, my book is out, The Handbell Ringer's Bible, available at Amazon and on eBay.